Hey guys. Hello. Thanks very much. Uh, I think we had a tough game against a good opponent. Um, I think they um, they let our left side open, and especially the first half, we we chose in possession for short options, which we struggled with through the centre because they were really, as we know, very physical in duels, and we were a little bit too slow in that, and and we had to make some decisions further away. Um, and as we saw to in the counter attack, they're really dangerous. I think we scored a great goal. That was a momentum in the game. We played well and we kept the ball a little longer. Um, second half, I thought that the goal was really unnecessary. They scored um, because they, um, well, we gave away a throw in, and from that throw in, we weren't able to take out the cross, and they scored from that. So um, that was disappointing. Um, we were also a little bit at the moment struggling uh, with our press on them because they did that very smart with rotations inside. But I think the main thing that we wanted to do better, keep the ball longer, staying longer on the ball. And I think at the end of the game, we got more control and we could get more energy and get some more attacks. And uh, we had hoped, of course, we scored a goal. But I think at the other side, when they had that 1v1 and... On Mary, I think um, that was good for us too. They didn't score that one. What did you make of the performance of uh, Grace Clinton? It feels like she's becoming quite an important player for you. And, and also, were you pleased with the final sort of 10, 15 minutes when your team seemed to create more chances than they had for, for most of the match? Yeah, I think today I just want to talk about the, um, the team uh, the team performance because I think um, as a team... We had to make quicker decisions. We had to pass the ball quicker. Uh, and we were struggling a little bit with that. Find spaces. And, of course, you didn't get that many spaces because they defended really well. Um, I think the second half, we had more depth in the game. Uh, when we brought in players, of course, we yeah, you can bring, we have a team, but we can bring in players uh, with different qualities. With Ella Toon, we had more depth. Um, also, of course, uh, the first moment that... Uh, Hempo came in the centre on the pitch. We, we got, a, we were able to get her behind the defence, and I think that went, um, yeah, that that went better um, with some substitutes coming in, and that helped the team. Yes, Serena. Obviously, we know how tough the group is, and given that this was obviously a home game, is is a draw a, a disappointing one? Do you think? Um, well, I think this group is really tough, and of course, I'm disappointed because we always want to win. Um, and I think if you look at the end of the game, we um, we were very close to scoring a goal. But I think overall, if you look at the game, it was a pretty equal game. We had more possession of the ball. But if you see also um, how dangerous their counterattacks were, then uh, yeah, I think this this reflects the how the game was. Did you perhaps take Russo off a little bit early? There's been a few pundits that have said that maybe. Um, they felt she probably should have stayed on a little bit longer and maybe when she came off, you guys lost a bit of a focal point. Do, would you agree with that? <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. Um, I think everyone has opinions, of course. I think we wanted to change. We wanted to change some things. I think Alessia played well, but technically we wanted to change a couple of things. And uh, so we brought Hempo, Lauren Hemp <laughs> uh, inside um, and she brings something different. And also with Beth Mead and Chloe Carey, we just wanted to get something different. Um, and with Ella Toon also, more runs behind. Um, I wanted to force some things in, the, in that uh, moment of the game. Thank you. Thanks, and we'll just go to Tom and then Anton. Uh, thanks. Hi, Serena. Um, can I just ask how close Leah Williamson was to playing in the game? And could you give us an update on whether she might be available in time for Tuesday? Um, you can ask, but um, yeah, how close? There were many many players close to making the starting lineup. Um, uh, she was available today. I don't expect that she got any injuries during this uh, this evening, so I think she's still available for the, for next Tuesday. But first, we're going to review the game tomorrow. Uh, then we're going to prepare for next Tuesday, and then um, we'll make uh, the closer we get to Tuesday, we'll make some decisions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And Tom. Serena, um, we saw in the Nations League England drop points in some very close games. Is it a concern that we saw that again tonight? 
Um, no, this is, yeah, every, in the Nations League, you have very competitive games. And as we see, uh, Sweden is very, is a very tough opponent. Um, I do think the, we could have done a couple of things better. Uh, but it also showed that, um, Sweden gave us a hard time at moments. So, yeah, we just want to learn from these, these games. We want to do better every game, as other countries want to do too, of course. I think it just shows how close and how tight our competition is. And finally for me, um, we didn't see Lauren James play in the last two games, but obviously she started tonight. How difficult a decision is it to, to win? Because you've got so many second options and why, do, why was Lauren given the nod tonight? Yeah, of course it's different. Uh, diff it's, it is difficult because I think there's many players in very good form and we have many options uh, on many positions in the team. Um, but at the end, yeah, you, you start a game and, and it's sometimes a tactical choice, sometimes also because of the form of a player. And I, I thought um, today um, Lauren James has a very good uh, is, has played very well for Chelsea too, and um, she was ready to to start tonight. Thanks, Anton. S Serena, um, we've just spoken to Peter there, and he said that um, Sweden played a little bit deeper than what they usually do, and that they were specifically targeting Kira Walsh to try and take her out of the game. Did you notice that? And we've seen kind of other teams kind of try and do that against England quite regularly. Is it becoming uh, something that you maybe have to solve kind of going forward? We basically have to solve that every game, <laughs> and we were expecting this. Um... And there were moments like what they did, especially the first half, they just waited really long and didn't do anything. And we want to pass the game and kept it really tight. And uh, I think that, that they did it really smart. So we did have to find other solutions and do it better um, to, in the second stage, get Kira on the ball. Or when we want to go to the center, they knew that. And we had to go around now. And, and that's what we want to be, very unpredictable. So when the center is closed, we want to go out, outside and today we had to do that even better because I thought, in my opinion, Sweden defended really well and are really tough on duels. And when you want to stay out of duels, then you have to make good decisions, to be tight on the ball and keep the ball moving quicker than we did. Thanks, Captain. Hi, Serena. Um, Peter just said that he was happy when Lauren James was substituted off. Can you just explain your thinking behind that decision? Yeah, I think um, we wanted... Um, more energy in the team. I, um, of course, we know she can she can all, always decide a, a game, uh, but uh, the tempo dropped a little bit. I wanted more tempo, so that, that's why we brought Ella Toon in. That's why we, uh, but, um, we brought some other forwards in too, and I think we got that. So that brings some different things in the game, and I thought we had some good opportunities to score a second goal. So, um, yes, those are tactical decisions we make. And I'm, I'm sorry to go back to Leah, but can I just double check? She wasn't in the team today just for tactical reasons rather than her injury. She's not injured, otherwise she would not have been in the squad. And I would have told you if she would have been injured. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, we'll go across the pool. Are there any questions? We'll go to Paul. Thanks. Hello, Serena. Paul Rowan from the Irish Sunday Times. Um, do you mind me asking just toe forward to Tuesday a bit? Uh, different kind of challenge. What do you make of that Ireland team? Okay, can you repeat that? You have an ex. You have an. I have to get used to your accent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what I make of the Ireland team? I'll I speak think. very slowly. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of that Ireland team? They're the, they're the kind of lowest seeds in the group. I mean, are they? Is it going to be a typical battling kind of game, or what sort of game do you reckon you might going to have in Dublin? Yeah, I think, uh, well, they did well. I think they did well. I haven't seen the game, they France, but uh, I, I saw the score was 1-0 for France. Um, so that seems to be very tight. At least it's a very tight score. I think it will be a tough game. I think, um, of course, there's always some rivalry. The, the players know each other really well because lots of players uh, play with each other or against each other in Women's Super League. Um, right now, I'm really still into the Sweden game. So we review Sweden. Uh, tomorrow and then we move on to Ireland and get ready for that game and we're looking forward to go there to Dublin because it seems to be a very incredible stadium too. Yeah, can I just ask you, were you a little bit surprised your your Dutch compatriot Vera Poe, they, they let her go after the World Cup and did, didn't give her a new contract, were you surprised about that? I mean, we, you, we, you know, you might have been playing, pitting your wits against Vera in this game but she, she, she's, she's moved on now. Yeah, well, I don't, I really don't know because I haven't been involved. I just read the things. 
So, no, well, I w- because I, I'm not involved in that and I haven't seen, yeah, of course, they were at the World Cup. I don't know if I could, well, not surprised, but I, I, I don't know any ins and outs, so I don't know. And would you regard Katie McCabe as being their most dangerous player? I mean, or... <laughs> we'll see Tuesday. What do you think? A defense I'm not going to give any pitch? secrets away. No. I'm not going to give any secrets. Denise Can Sutton's you tell been... me, is she, where is she going to play? Where? Yeah, where do you think she will play? I think she'll play um, number 10. She plays a 10. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, we would be prepared for that then. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.